Hey everyone, welcome back to MetalDisciple.com's 365 Days of Metal. My name is George and this is Day 156. Today I bring you an album from one of the early purveyors of Norwegian black metal. This is Immortal and their third album from 1995, Battles in the North. This is another case of an album being my first experience of a particular band. Battles in the North was my first taste of Immortal and it left quite an impression. First of all, just look at the cover. When I think of black metal, this is the album cover that comes to mind. For me, this is black metal in all its frozen glory. I remember liking the fact that the CD case was all white too, giving the album an even colder, snow-crusted feel. The sound on Battles in the North was one of the better productions from this period of black metal. The album has a very sharp and crisp and, yes, frozen sound, very mid and high range stuff, with very little in the way of low end. The vocals are harsh and brittle and do a great job of slicing through the music to make themselves heard. In the years since Battles in the North, Immortal has obviously become more well known, and as such the band's sound and production have changed somewhat over time. Members have come and gone, though the dual core remains. The band's most recent effort was 2009's All Shall Fall. That album received mixed reviews, but on the whole I think more people liked it than not. Personally, I enjoyed it. But most of the time, when I reach for Immortal, I choose Battles in the North. I don't always listen to Immortal, but when I do, I listen to Battles in the North. Alright, that's all for today. Check out today's playlist for some tracks from Immortal. I'll be back with more tomorrow. See you then.